Chris, on the floor of the 2010 ITSEC uh, convention, there's obviously a tremendous amount of exciting technologies in vogue and some interesting mission profiles for how these technologies are being implemented. What's CAE doing here and why are you working with the T100? Uh, CAE is at ITSEC because the simple reason is it's the world's largest military simulation and training show and CAE is the world's largest company focused exclusively on modeling, simulation, and training. That's all we do. It's what we're all about for both the civil and military market. So this is right in our sweet spot for being and showing our customers and our partners the capabilities and our simulation technologies. Now for the T100, we're demonstrating along with our partner Alania North America, the T100 demonstrator based on the M346 aircraft built by Elaine Yaramaki. It's an advanced lead-in fighter trainer for helping prepare fourth and fifth generation fighter pilots before they transition into the actual combat aircraft. And we're showing some of the capabilities that CAE has to develop ground-based training systems specifically for this platform. We're doing it for other countries that have recently selected the M346. In the United States, the U.S. Air Force is potentially going to replace their existing advanced lead-in fighters, which is the T-38. The T-100 will be one of the contenders for that replacement program. So we're trying to show some of the ground-based training system capabilities that CAE has specifically for this platform. Well, when you take on a project like this, and one with some political sensitivities as well, because let's face it, uh, to a certain extent, you're the leading edge of how this is going to look to a fair amount of the market that they're trying to get to. How does a company like this approach you or vice versa? How does a project like this come together? Well, CAE about three or four years ago was selected by Elaine Yaramaki, the aircraft manufacturer, as their preferred simulation provider for the M346. So we worked closely with Elaine Yaramaki to develop the prototype simulation ground-based training systems as they were selling and developing the aircraft first for the Italian Air Force. So we have some experience with this platform. Now, as the U.S. Air Force looks for potentially a new lead-in fighter and Elaine in North America, you know, they look to a company like CAE who has experience brings capability and credibility and low risk to a program like this, specifically for the ground-based training system. The important thing to, to remember here is this is an advanced lead-in fighter, so it's not just the aircraft platform. A lot of the training will be done on the ground in simulation, and it's very consistent with what militaries want to do now is move a lot of training into synthetic training as opposed to the actual operational aircraft. It's a lot more cost effective. You can perform a lot more of the training and help prepare the future fighter pilots on the ground instead of in the air. Militaries are under uh, increasingly tight budgets. You always have to be prepared and mission ready, but you have to do that cost effectively. Well, simulation and what you see at a show like ITSIC is all about that, being able to cost effectively prepare our future generation pilots or tank drivers or whatever the case might be for situations they might face on the battlefield but do so in a synthetic environment where you can accomplish a lot of the training that's required. Freedom through control. Cirrus has completely reinvented the personal aircraft and the entire experience of owning a personal aircraft. It's a bold new take on private aviation that we call Cirrus Flying 2.0. You set the schedule. You chart the course. You're in control. When you take on a project like this, and you're, especially it's a new aircraft uh, with you know, a, a, a limited uh, range of experience from a standpoint of operational at this point, how do you model it? How do you put something like this together? How does a program come together so that when you are finally able to mount a simulator uh, for any customer that you've got something that's as realistic as you can make it? Well, for a new aircraft, it's a lot of close work with the aircraft OEM. I mean, you, uh, a simulation provider like CAE and the aircraft manufacturer are kind of joined at the hip as you're developing the training systems for a new aircraft like this. But for a company like CAE, where all we're about is simulation and training, so there's a lot of 
know-how and experience that comes from a company like ours who've done a lot of prototype simulation and training systems for new aircraft. So we have a lot of know-how. I mean, like I said, that's all CA is about. We're a simulation and training company. So OEMs often come to a company like ours because there's a lot of experience and know-how that our engineers have in how to simulate, model, and, and build the first training systems for any particular aircraft type. I realize it's kind of an unfair question, but when you take on a project like this, how much? what does that encompass? How many people are involved? How many hours are involved? I mean, this is not something that happens overnight. It's not something you mock up on Microsoft Flight Simulator and, and, and slap it on the wall. Every program's a little bit different. So we have 7,500 people around the world. Over 2,500 of them are engineers that specifically specialize in modeling and simulation, systems engineers, avionics engineers, you know, aircraft aerodynamics, all that know-how, we bring that to bear on a program like developing the training systems for the T-100. So, you know, it's hard to replicate that experience. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value. Now, will you be supporting the M346 program uh, outside of the ground based trainers? Like I said, CAE is a company all about modeling, simulation, and training. So what we would bring to the table on a program in pursuit of uh, a new advanced lead-in fighter in the United States is the ground-based training system. Alenia North America and other partners would handle the aircraft and the support and all the, all the other things that go into the family of systems that make an advanced lead-in fighter trainer training system. And what's the future of this program? Where do you go from here? Well, the Air Force is in the formative stages of what exactly the shape and when the program would be competed and uh, issuing an RFP. So it's still early days. All we're trying to do here is show some of the capabilities and experience that CAE has on the M346 platform, known as the T100 in the United States, and begin to kind of educate the marketplace on the experience and capability and credibility that we, we would have on developing ground-based training systems should this aircraft be the one that have ultimately is selected by the Air Force. Well, Chris, we wish you the best of luck and we'll look forward to following this program. Thanks, Jim. <laughs>